Hi, it's Robert again, and today we're going to be creative with that beautiful new clustered bouquet that you just purchased at your local supermarket. I'm going to show you two fabulous creative ways of using the same bouquet differently. Let's start with a traditional type vase. Fill your vase with water and don't forget to add the floral food. Very important step. Remove our outer wrap and we're going to separate the four different flowers. Save your wrap because you never know when you need to wrap a wine bottle real quick or a quick gift. In this particular bouquet, we have Alstroemeria lily, we have yellow daisies, we have aster, and we have some pink roses. We're going to make today a hand-tied twister-style look, which looks a lot harder than it actually is to do. Take, your da take one stem of your daisies and take an aster and take an Alstroemeria, removing the foliage that'll be below the waterline because that's going to create bacteria and shorten the life of your bouquet. And then let's repeat the same step again. As you're going around, you're twisting and removing the foliage. And just keep going in the same pattern all the way around. You want to vary the height slightly so that you get interest in your bouquet. Just very important to keep remembering to remove the foliage. Keep twisting around and we're not using the roses yet. And just make sure there's a good balance of color and flower style all the way through. You should have something that looks like that. Now what we're going to do is take our three focal flowers. These are all fillers and accents. And we're going to insert them into the middle. A little higher because I really want them to stand out. So by inserting them in last, you can place them exactly where you'd like them to go. If there's a little stubborn one, don't force it. Now the most important step is cutting it to the right length. Remember, it's easier to cut just a little bit and then have to recut again because there's no way you could replace that stem. I'm going to hold it up to the vase and I want it to land just about at the tip of the vase here. So I'm only going to cut just a little bit off. Cut on an angle for better water absorption using sharp scissor or knife. And you see the little TP design we have there? Measure again. Make sure that everything's nice and even. Place it in your vase. And fluff. And there you have a very nice traditional look out of the clustered bouquet. Now let's try something totally different. The same bouquet, different colors. This time we're going to go around the house and let's find four different vases. Small vases of different shapes and sizes. I've chosen these four. We're going to do a very popular look right now in design style called clustering. This is also a real easy design that's going to make you look like a fabulous star to all your friends. Let's separate the flowers by groups again. Alstroemeria, roses, aster, and daisies. These are Orinocos, is the variety, and it's a beautiful new variety that's very vibrant in color. What we're going to do is we're going to do the tall vase first. 
take our Alstroemeria and remove your foliage that again will be below the waterline. Don't forget to put your, your flower food in each one of these, just a little bit in each one. All we're going to do is take the Alstroemeria, remove the foliage, and just make it into a clump like that. I'm going to take the larger of the tall vases, measure it so the Alstroemeria leaves land right on the rim, cut on an angle, measure again, cut a little bit more, and place them in the vase so they land just like that. Now let's take the solid ego, which is a member of the aster family, removing the foliage again, I'm going to do the same thing. Only this time, I'm going to leave these a little taller and put them in my tallest vase. Cut a little on an angle. See, sometimes it takes two cuts. And put them together like that. Now let's take the beautiful purple daisies and we're going to break them up into single stems. Don't worry, you're not hurting the flower at all by pulling them apart like that. And we're removing the foliage along the way. What I want is a clump or a cluster. We're going to make a fresh cut, so don't worry about just pulling them apart the way I'm doing it now. You want a nice ball of daisies. This is going to go in the shorter vase in the front because it's got the largest opening and it's the chunkiest and we're breaking these down pretty short. After you've got your nice little round ball, give it a fresh cut. Make sure your foliage is gone again. That'll really discolor your water. I'm going to give this one more cut. and place it in that vase, like that. Now let's take our three roses, and we want them to land someplace in between the height between here and here. The most important part of this is that you get four different heights going in your vases. I'm going to keep the roses all the same height, measure, snip, and place them in this vase. Now put that on your dinner table for something interesting and exciting. Just another different trick. Remember, happy arranging.